my name is uh, Dr. Tim Dumore, and I'm an orthodontist in Winnipeg, Canada. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the value of 3D printing in orthodontics. Uh, today, uh, intraoral scanners are becoming more and more common all the time, and uh, the cost is becoming uh, less as well. And I think the comparison between uh, intraoral scanning and traditional impressions in plaster is becoming more and more favorable. Um, when people consider taking impressions, they think about uh, the, you know, it's a couple of dollars of alginate, but if you add up the cost of the time required to order the alginate, to stock it, to mix it, to take the actual impression and then later clean the tray, to disinfect it, to pour it, to trim it, uh, the cost becomes significant if you actually factor in all the, the time and uh, money that goes into that. So intraoral scanners are becoming more and more popular. That information is very valuable for, uh, obviously for treatment planning. And uh, in our CL study club scenario, for interdisciplinary treatment planning, it's easy to share models versus physical plaster, plaster models. So digital models have a great advantage at that. We can also, in orthodontics, use those models for tooth positioning. So we can do virtual setups. And then um, that information can be used to program where the brackets are placed on the teeth. And then transfer trays can be made. So now the, the thing that is very exciting for me is that with 3D printing, we're able to use the technology even further. So we can actually print uh, transfer trays. So instead of doing the traditional suck downs, you can actually print a tray. Uh, and the other way we use the software with the printer is through a program called Orchestrate. And there's other similar programs. And with Orchestrate, you can section the teeth and then move them into an uh, ideal position and then create intervals of tooth movement. And then uh, uh, for each stage, we print a model. And on that model, we make an SX retainer. Um, now, the, the way that becomes uh, practical is, say for example, at the end of treatment, you're making final retainers, we can print a model. With traditional Essex retainers, the model's destroyed, but with the resin models, they're, they're durable, they're not broken, and they can be used repeatedly. So if a patient comes back uh, years later for a new retainer, you can make an exact duplicate from that same model. Uh, we can also use the software to move the teeth. So example, for example, if you take off braces and maybe you notice a, a space that wasn't there previously, with the software, you can close the space and then make the series of aligners that you can, you can use to, to correct that problem. Or for relapse cases, that can be a, a source of ill will in practices. With this technology, you can create aligners to correct problems that have uh, developed through, re through relapse uh, and affordably um, provide a solution to the patient. So it's, uh, it's uh, the cost of printers and 3D, 3D scanners is becoming uh, less all the time. And in the future, I think this is the way many practices will, will serve their patients.